Bukayo Saka, Mohamed Salah, some of the best wingers in the Premier League that we have ever seen, especially Saka. He's the greatest one ever. But we're going to show you the best possible winger build you can use on pro clubs today. So let's go straight into this one with this 5 for 8, 99 pounds build. And we have got ourselves the Technical Plus and the Rapid Plus. If you've seen any of my other builds, you'll know if you're an attacking player, these are what you need to be using if you're going to be playing a small build. We've got the Finesse Shot Trait, Incisive Pass, Ping Pass, Relentless. We've got Press Proven and we also have First Touch. The reason we've gone with Relentless on this build is you're going to be tracking back a little bit from time to time, especially in competitive games. So this can be really useful, especially when you're moving towards the end of the matches, when you have that extra burst of stamina to break past defences. But let's get straight into this. We've got everything on acceleration there. Shooting, we have gone down to the sniper archetype, as well as giving ourselves the finisher archetype with the five-star skill moves. Uh, no, five-star weak foot, sorry. And then on the dribbling, we do also have the five-star skill moves, but we've gone with both the archetypes here, the maestro archetype, and the Lynx archetype. The only thing we've missed really off of this is one on agility here and one on balance there. And then as for physical, we just put one on stamina there as it was the spare one we had. But that is plain and simple, the winger build in terms of attributes that we've got. We're using the default running style on these builds, guys. If you watch my builds, you'll know I always like to stick to the default running style. This this build will literally get you assists. It will get you goals. You do not have to worry about passing attributes with this build. The passing stats are high enough on this game. I mean, in my opinion, in 11s, you shouldn't really cross too much. as They're very easy to defend unless they're really open. And the crosses on this build are absolutely fine anyway. So you will be getting yourselves lots of assists if you are going to be crossing into the box, running down the bar line, sweating them in. It is a great build for that. Attacking, but you've got the fast star skill moves. Your dribbling is extremely high. I really do recommend this build, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.